Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, if this is your first time here with me, my name is Keely. Hello, how are you? If you have never joined me before, my name is Keely and I'm the owner of lovehopeadventure.com and I blog about the marriage relationship and about um, building a closer relationship with your spouse. There's other things I blog about, of course, but that's the main heartbeat of my um, website, Love Hope Adventure. And today I wanted to tell you a story about why my husband and I stopped kissing before we got married. We met each other when we were 16. Well, actually, I was 15 and he was 16. And we started dating a couple months after we met. And it became pretty clear to us a year and a half in that we were probably going to end up getting married. But if anything else, we needed to put a um, hold on our physical relationship. Because we both made a commitment to not have sex before we got married. And we felt that if we continued kissing, that it would end up leading to sex. So we stopped kissing. And I know that is really crazy for some people. And it was definitely countercultural at the time. Uh, we didn't kiss for almost three and a half years before our wedding day. At the time, there was a big book that had come out about courtship, and a lot of people were returning to a courting process. By that point, though, my husband and I, we had been in a dating relationship for probably a year or more, and we didn't feel like doing a um, courtship with one another, and we decided that we would continue on in a typical dating relationship, but just remove all physical aspects of it. Uh, and for us, we quit kissing. And here's a little picture. I started out this, this scope. Here's a picture of our wedding day. And one thing that's really funny about our wedding day is in order to kind of calm my nerves about kissing my husband after not having doing that for three years, is he gave me a Hershey's kiss. And that was just kind of a way to break the ice before um, we had our first kiss with each other. And so he had worked this out with our pastor to say to him, you may now present your bride with a kiss. And his best man unwrapped a Hershey's kiss, handed it to, to him, and he put it in my mouth uh, before we had our first kiss. So that was kind of a cool thing. But I'm going to tell you something. Um, somebody asked just a few minutes ago, how can this relate to anybody? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how it can relate to you. If you are not married and you're in a dating relationship, I highly encourage you to keep your um, physical relationship to a minimum. Really, I do. And I'm going to tell you why. My husband and I have really benefited from not having a physical relationship before we got married. Our communication skills are through the roof. We had to learn how to communicate to each other without using physical means. We couldn't kiss to make up. We couldn't um, have sex to make up. We couldn't do any of those things when we were upset. We did not have the ability to use physical affection as a way to show love to each other. And so we had to get very creative on how to love one another, like convey that and communicate that, how to handle arguments like when we um, would fight or have a problem and we had to fix that and resolve it, and also just how to celebrate in life in general. Um, if you are in a relationship with someone and you're highly physical and you're not married, that's what you use all the time. That is the solution to every problem, it seems like. So when you don't have that, your communication boosts. Now, if you're married, I do not suggest you stop physical relationships. This is not what this scope is about. It's for those that are in dating relationships still, but also just to kind of share a little bit about myself and my husband, um, kind of behind the scenes of the blogger over at Love Hope Adventure. Thank you guys for joining me today. And I hope that you have learned something valuable. At the very least, um, if you want some actual marriage tips, go over to lovehoopadventure.com. And I talk a lot over there about sex tips, communication tips, um, and just a lot of things that will help you with your marriage. Thanks for joining me today, and I will be back here tomorrow afternoon. Thanks so much.